Welcome back. You're still watching uh, Nile Cruz. And in this segment, we're joined with uh, Dr. Ismail Shirbini, and he is the head of Al Azhar Walk for the training uh, department. I'd like to thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, well, welcome. Dr. Smail, we're talking about uh, the holy month of Ramadan and how this month is very important for all Muslims um, for worshipping God and uh, asking for the repentance and al-tawbah al from uh, Allah. Um, how should the right Muslim do the right things in uh, Ramadan concerning worshipping and attitude and everything? Uh, we in Al Azhar uh, Mosque, uh, especially in Iraq, uh, we are preparing a lot of programs for all Muslims who, who are going to come to Al Azhar Mosque. Uh, we have uh, different uh, types of Iraqs, and each Iraq has its own programs, in, especially in Ramadan month, inshallah. For example, I can give you example of the, the training Iraq, the Holy, Holy Quran Iraq, and English department Ruach, Spanish Ruach, Japanese Ruach, and all different languages Ruach, and we have um, uh, agricultural uh, Ruach and so on. So each Ruach has its own uh, programs in Ramadan, and we are pre preparing this will for um, people who are coming, or Muslims who are coming to other Muslim Ramadan, inshallah. Mm -hmm. So w what type of uh, training do you, uh, does your department offer, and, uh, and what are the objective of this department? Uh, in Al Azhar Mosque, we have many types of training. I can choose only one uh, type of training. Uh, we have um, uh, a program called uh, nowadays, and it will continue in Ramadan, inshallah. Uh, this type of uh, program is called uh, uh, making uh, the leader, especially religious leaders, inshallah. Uh, in this uh, program, we have um, uh, 60 preachers of Al Azhar who are working in Azhar all over the country. Um, we prepare, we train them on how, uh, how to deal with other Muslims. We give them uh, jurisprudence, we give them human development, we give them uh, communication skills, how to communicate with other people. And we, ha we train them on different uh, religious subjects and deep and wide uh, subjects for them, inshallah. Uh, Dr. Ismaili Sherbini, um what kind of, um, uh, let's say, worships and uh, there are certain uh, verses of Quran these people should be trained uh, on, they, they should know how to read Quran, they should know how to worship God in Ramadan. Tell us more about what, what the students do. Uh, they are not students, they are preachers who are uh, nowadays, who are uh, Preachers graduates. taking training. Yeah, uh, yeah, preachers in service. Yeah, they are in service yeah. and they work in Azhar uh, institutions all over the all over the country and yeah. all over the world. Some of some of preachers are staying here in Egypt and others are going outside Egypt for uh, prevailing Islam, Islamic uh, instructions and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, in this type of program, we prepare all the preachers. Uh, we give them uh, deep, deeply religious matters. Uh, relig religious subjects, in addition to uh, the new uh, the new subjects like human development, uh, communication skills, and uh, the, uh, renewing their way of thinking and so on. Yeah. Uh, also, we have another type of training in uh, Holy Quran Ruach. Uh, that training is not for the preachers and so on. They are. Uh, this is for all people who are coming. Uh, who had the special talents in rec reciting the Holy Quran or in Madih, uh, praising the Prophet Muhammad. And this is going to uh, done in Ramadan, inshallah. We are calling uh, different people to come and to train, and we are going to hold, inshallah, uh, competitions for them, and we are going to choose the best, uh, the best person or the best 10 persons, top 10 persons, and they give them uh, special presents, special grants, and so on. This, uh, the, the role of uh, this training for the preachers is very important because yeah. those preachers are, are the ones who are transforming the lives of people and uh, yeah. spreading awareness about uh, the right deeds of Islam and the, 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 the right attitudes That's right. of people. Yeah. So, um, what is exactly the agenda that you have in order to uh, enhance those skills for uh, the preachers? Um, 
uh, in the following programs, inshallah, we're going to uh, train many and many all the preachers in uh, who are working in the research, academic, academic research uh, in Al-Azhar. And we're going also to train the teachers of Islamic instructions in Al-Azhar institutions because they are in, in touch with all people and who, those are people who are in charge of uh, prevailing Islam, uh, giving them the Islamic instructions uh, and Islamic studies all over the country and all over the world. And we aim uh, to uh, prevail the moderate, uh, moderate uh, method of Islamic instructions that Al-Azhar uh, aims to uh, give to people all over the world and to fight uh, terrorism and so on. Sir, uh, children at a certain age, when they are so young, they are so smart and they are able to yeah. uh, learn uh, Quran very quickly and of yeah. course recite it. How Al-Azhar is playing a role in uh, enhancing these uh, children's ability to read Quran and to as, know more about yeah. Islam? As for children, each Ruwaq has its own program for children. For example, in training Ruwaq, we have many programs for children. We have programs for developing thinking skills of children. And we have a type of program called the memory competition all over the Arab world and World, world, world Brain Cup. Do you hear about it? Uh, we are we prepare in training Ruwaq, we prepare children in different uh, ages according to their age uh, how to uh, develop their way of thinking and uh, especially thinking out of the box not only think, not the traditional way of thinking this in the training Ruwaq. as for children in uh, Ruwaq uh, of Quran we uh, all over uh, all around the year we be, we call the children to come each Friday uh, in the days of uh, schools and in holiday uh, we, we we call children uh, all over the week to come and to how to know or to, to learn how to recite the Holy Quran we develop their recitation we develop their knowledge of the Quran and we have 10 uh, 10 uh, top sheikhs of the Quran we choose them uh, with great concentration to uh, teach the, the children how to be uh, aware of the Quran and so on. Yes, uh, is, is social media part of the training? Because uh, today, social media as a channel is reaching millions of people. Uh, the younger generation and the youth, is the majority of them are usually um, in that channel. So are, are you teaching the preachers any, any ways uh, other than, you know, uh, preaching at the mosques uh, to, in order to reach to those youths? Uh, social media, this is as a good question because social media is a great uh, pillar. Uh, in each program we, 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 we introduce to the, uh, to the people who are preachers, who are teachers, who are ordinary people. In each program we have a, a very uh, special pillar called social media. For example, in the program introduced for uh, preachers, we give them how to trade with social media, how can you introduce Islam uh, via social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Moment Me, and how to make an email, and how to, this is a very important part of each program for all people. And this is a must, this is a must for all people. Sir, this younger generation is very different than other generations before. Yes. Uh, they, are, they have lots of challenges in life. Their way of thinking is very different. Uh, there are lots of uh, temptations around them uh, in, in different uh, fields. Yeah. So how do you reach this uh, younger generation and uh, you tell them about Islam in, their, in the way that they can understand? An exciting question because this is a very important point. Uh, we here in Azhar Mosque, especially Ruwaq, so we prepared for um, for symposia outside Azhar Mosque, and we are going in, in the first Friday of Ramadan to uh, the Malik uh, Club. Do you know the Malik Club? We meet uh, we meet them, and we prepared a program for this 
for these people and we prepared uh, we prepared everything uh, a very co uh, a very simple um, and suitable uh, program for people who are in the Mali. So we have programs here and we are we have programs outside the Azhar Mosque. We are going to the Mali, we are going to the Ahli and we are very going good. to uh, all the clubs all over the country. We prepared in Ramadan one day we are going to uh, a governorate in one day. So uh, this is our plan in Ramadan only uh, to communicate with younger generations and the youth and with this is a protocol or a type of protocol with uh, Ministry of Youth and Sports. Yes, uh, finally, Dr. Ismail Sherbini, we'd like to thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And now we're moving to a quick break, so please stay tuned.